Okay, so we have a very uh, several small uh, presentations, um, uh, starting with the uh, uh, Jax Web Services support uh, using EJB. So uh, let's start with this. So as I mentioned to you before, the way that you can build your web services endpoint is uh, using uh, web application or EJB or standalone Java C. So we covered the other two already, and this is where you can deploy your EJB as web service endpoint. Okay. So again, you can basically have your web service. Uh, this is the uh, stateless session bin using stateless, and all you have to do is using at web service. And this is an example where you can access uh, web service context. Okay. Because by the way, this web service context object is only usable on serve uh, the uh, container-based web service endpoint. So it cannot be used on Java SE environment, but you can use it on uh, the, uh, the uh, EJB or uh, web-based uh, web services endpoint. Okay. All right. So again, as I said before, the reason you might want to deploy your web service over EJB is when you want to take advantage of EJB features such as transaction security and interceptors and things like that, especially transaction. Okay, so this is a Java EE based client. Uh, so you can actually use, again, you have seen this code, right? So you don't have to create a service object yourself. Instead, you can just uh, use web service reference. Okay. And here you can also actually inject uh, web service context and then you can find out, you know, the various information about the, uh, the uh, web service context. Okay. So maybe that's one exercise you guys can do uh, when we do the hands on lab of this. Okay. So, all right, so that is the end of the presentation. So let's take a look at the uh, lab documentation. Uh, it's a very simple uh, exercise. So you, you are going to create the EJB based, uh, the Java E application, and then you're gonna just make it as a web service, okay? So uh, you're going to create, first of all, Java E application. So you're gonna create a new project and, uh, and select Java EE and select enterprise application. And you're going to name it as Hello World EJB Web Service or whatever name of your choice. And select Java EE6 as Java EE version. Okay. Or Java EE5 or Java EE6. Either one is fine. Okay. And then you take all the default. As a default, it will create a EJB module and the web app module. All right. So on the EJB module, you are going to create a uh, very simple uh, session bean. Okay, so you right click it and say new, and then you're going to select the session bean. And then you're going to name it as hello session and uh, provide the package. Uh, so I provide very simple package name called the server, or you can use whatever package of your choice. And uh, the session type we are going to create is a stateless bean. So select stateless. And in terms of creating interface, you know, we are going to actually deal with the local, meaning the web application and the EJB, they are located on the same machine. So this is going to be local and finish. And then you see NetBeans created a skeleton code of hello session with a stateless annotation to indicate that this is a stateless EJB bean. And then you're going to write code. Uh, you can write code right there, or, or you can just insert code. So right click this point and then select insert code. And uh, you're going to add the business method. Okay. And uh, name the business method as say hello. And then the return type is going to be string. Okay. And uh, then add a parameter to say hello method. So you're going to say click add and then then you know the change this one as name and the type of that argument is going to be string okay and uh, then the code will be generated so what happens underneath is that uh, it will add the uh, uh, say hello uh, implementation method in this bean and also create the uh, uh, hello hello session local java file which is interface so it will add uh, say hello method okay so you can actually, you know, add this code like this manually, but make sure you actually add this code as well as you add uh, say hello uh, method in this uh, hello session local Java interface code. Okay. 
and then you're gonna actually change this code uh, to return hello and the name that was returned and uh, that was given from the client okay it's a very simple hello world application and then you're gonna make it as a web service endpoint so again all you have to do in this case is just add web service very simple right okay and uh, you know if you actually type in then the import is not going to be uh, included uh, if you do code completion then it will import it as well so in case you just type it as it is uh, and you don't have import statement then you're going to right click it and say fix import then you choose uh, jws.webservice as a class to import so now this is imported right here okay that's all you have to do then you can deploy so you, you basically uh, right click and then deploy and uh, then you can see uh, on the services you can see uh, EJB web service has been deployed okay and then again you can test it so you right click it and test web service and then it's gonna be pretty much the same deal uh, that you have seen before okay and you type sanction say hello then it will say hello sanction okay and uh, then you can see whether you can access the WSDL document as well. So click this one and then you are going to see WSDL document. And once you got the WSDL document deployed, you can uh, have client to access this one and you can write the client code. So, you know, writing, uh, this is exactly the same deal. Okay. Yeah, so here uh, the client we are going to write is the web application. So here, uh, because this Java EE environment, uh, we are going to actually have a client to be written on uh, as actually inside this uh, the web module, web application module. So right click here and click new and web service client. Okay, so it's going to ask you the location of the WSDL document. So you provide that WSDL document that you have uh, here. Okay and uh, then uh, you provide a cli uh, the client package uh, the uh, client generated and click finish then 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 you're gonna actually write the server code so that you know you can actually ask the browser to send something uh, the uh, some name okay so here we are going to write the servlet so name it as hello servlet and client package is whatever package of your choice and uh, inside this uh, servlet uh, code uh, that was generated okay uh, the uh, you are going to again uh, drag and drop uh, somewhere over here okay uh, the code is going to be uh, added the code that will be added is something like this okay uh, so it will add uh, this code uh, if it doesn't you know you can just uh, copy this code okay so we are going to we are going to use web service reference like this uh, and this uh, service object will be injected and uh, then uh, basically you know we are going to so here is going to call the uh, uh, yeah so it's here say hello method so you know basically uh, we get the uh, proxy object uh, from the service object and then we say say hello okay so this say hello is called somewhere where it is actually being called oh, okay so we modify the code yeah so here uh, we are going to just call say hello okay so make sure you you know on comment and uh, and uh, you know basically that's a servlet okay so when you run the application uh, it's going to add, you know it's going to actually dis display the hello world uh, but what you want is a slash hello servlet okay so in that case the servlet will call the EJB web service uh, the uh, the uh, and then we'll get it will get the hello sanction and display so this is a case that we have uh, uh, the um, uh, web service client as a web application okay uh, so here you know if you want to actually play around with the uh, in this code you can actually add web service context object and you can actually find out you know what kind of method you can invoke okay that could be your own exercise right so I'm gonna give you guys about 50, uh, maybe 12 to 13 12 to 15 minutes depending on uh, how fast you guys can finish if you guys can finish before 12 minutes is over then you will move on uh, otherwise, I'll give you 15 minutes. All right, so that is the uh, very simple.